My name is Roy Hattersley. I was born on the 28th of December 1932, and I spent most of my life in politics or journalism. 1945, general election, which produced the great Labour government, I took the 11 political examination on, the, on polling day. And we came home at lunchtime because we had the afternoon off. And I said to my mother, I'm going to play cricket on Wadsley Common. And she said, no, you're not. You're going to deliver leaflets. So I spent the afternoon delivering leaflets for our Labour candidate, A.V. Alexander in Hillsborough, Sheffield. And I've been delivering leaflets for somebody ever since. It was the beginning very early on when I was 11. And politics excited me and they've excited me for the last 70 years. What worries me about the Labour Party is it's not behaving in a way that produces a majority at the general election. I spent very many of my years in opposition and I know that politics is about being in power and doing things, not saying things, but doing things. And to do things, you have to win elections. And it seems to me that much of the Labour Party, part of the leadership and part of the uh, opposition to the leadership, is more interested in ploughing their own furrow than actually getting Labour elected, and that's what worries me. I think the real problem with the Labour Party, which is a fundamental problem, it is difficult to define what we stand for. I know what we stand for. But in '45, when I first delivered leaflets, it was easy to say what the Labour Party stood for. It stood for uh, attack on unemployment, clearing the slums, creating a health service. We knew what the Labour Party was about. Now it's more difficult to define what it is. Now I've no doubt what it is, is creating a more equal society. All my political life I wanted more equality. And we ought to say that and work towards it. But at the moment we seem to be hovering in midair opposed to the Tories, but not quite sure what we are in favour of ourselves. Well, we have the difficulty of the internal war within the Parliamentary Labour Party. I'm not a Corbynite, I didn't vote for him, and he wouldn't be my choice of a leader. But whilst the Parliamentary Party is divided, we'll never get round to doing what we should do. And in any case, there's no enthusiasm for thinking about politics these days. There's, it's so easy to make your political name by asking a question on Parliamentary... Um, so interesting. It's so easy to make your parliamentary name by asking a question at Prime Minister's Questions, which gets on television. There's no hard work required. And we want some return to the old thoughts that the Labour Party is dependent on ideas, a party of ideas. And that's what needs, needs to be done. Well, you can't tighten up internal discipline while Jeremy Corbyn is leader. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn broke the Labour whip 4,000 times, or I can't remember how many times, more than you can count. So it's no good him or his whip saying you've got to behave because they say he didn't behave in his time, why should we now? I mean, this is one of the problems of Jeremy Corbyn's leadership. It's the leadership of a disorganised party. Um, but when the party is successful, it'll have to be more coordinated, more understanding of each other, more sympathetic to each other, and more tolerant of each other than it is at the moment.